Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, I was just waiting to see if we're going to hit 100 degrees. Not that I wanted to, but it's 98. It's really close. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The possibilities still exist. Of course, we'll be watching that. I'll always have the temperature. Of course, we saw the temperatures getting into the upper 90s this afternoon. And so far, at least around the valley locations, as far as official temperatures, no 100 degrees. But I'm sure some backyard thermometers, you probably got it. You're probably saying it right now out at your house. So here's how it looks for tomorrow. If you look around most of the Magic Valley, you'll see that temperatures will be at least into the mid 90s for most all locations. As we move into the central mountains, highs, for instance, Sun Valley tomorrow, I think this would be rather nice at 87 degrees. You see their low temperatures are cool. Haley could hit 90 again for another day. And as you look at McCall, it gets pretty close to 90 degrees. The Long Valley, upper 80s at least. And then you see Garden Valley with 94 degrees. Here are the high temperatures tomorrow, Ontario with a 99. You see 97 degrees for Emmett. We keep on forecasting the 100 and we get pretty close to it so far and no doubt within the next day or two it's possible if if not today. Tomorrow's high in Boise 97, uh, Meridian 96 degrees, 96 degrees for QNO. So you say, OK, it's more the same. All right, so I'll go with you on that one. Now let's move ahead and talk about smoke. If you look at smoke around the area, we did clear out kind of nicely starting on Friday. So I hope you enjoyed the weekend with that. Now you see the heavier smoke moving up into Montana from the fires, also from Oregon, the same thing. And just kind of watch just kind of the light area moving through Boise later tomorrow into Tuesday. You might see just a little bit of smoke around the area at this point. Future cast shows just basically some high clouds to sunshine. That's for tonight and tomorrow. I don't think we're going to see any moisture, a few thunderstorms way over to eastern Idaho. But then as we get over here toward Boise, take a look at Twin Falls. Uh, there's Boise. You can see Twin Falls with the high clouds and getting into later Tuesday. Some thunderstorms start to show up, showing the possibility maybe even toward the Boise area a little later as we get into that week. So as you look at the seven day forecast, you can see the chance of thunderstorms into Wednesday and the same thing for Thursday. Temperature wise, well, there's a possibility of 100, if not Monday, we could possibly do it on Tuesday. And like I said, there's still a chance of that even for today. We're awfully close to it. As you get into Wednesday, there's 94 degrees. Thursday with 85, then we're right around 90 for Friday and Saturday. So that's something to see some of those mid 80s around the area. The 10 day temperature trend does show a little drop in those temperatures, if you want to call it cooling, into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, we're still up in the mid 90s in many spots. Magic Valley temperatures in the 90s, then the 80s. This is nice. Thursday, 81. Friday, 83 degrees, and of course the mountains, well, you're up to a 90 on Tuesday, which is likely the hottest day for this next week. Chances of thunderstorms, which will bring the temperatures down. And look at that, Doug, 74, 74. for Thursday. And Friday, we've got a 78 in the mountains. I wonder what that would be like. I guess we'll have very to take refreshing. a look. Yeah. Hey, the 85 will feel very refreshing. It will. For a high. It will, even around here. At least we're getting right. into those nights where you can open the windows. And cool. uh, well, it has been. You know, this, this entire summer has been pretty good. Not, it's not still too cooled bad. off a little bit in the morning. All right. Thank you, Rick.